innovation is, if you look at it in, in the big sense, applies to everything we do as a company, and that's exciting. And of course, we're in the business of creating great spaces for people to work in any place in the world. And so our position in the business, where we're designing and developing products in Europe, in Asia, in North America, means that we are getting ideas from the world, not just West Michigan. To me, that's tremendously important. It enables us to do things that other people can't do because we see trends, we see things that we can bring to other markets and we can bring to our customers. So that's part of it. Of course, listening to the customer and engaging the customer is the key to the design and development of great products. Well, the reality is if we aren't failing, we're not trying enough. We need to push the boundaries and that means you make some failures, but you always learn something. For me, being involved in the design and development of the industry's first pre-wired powered panel was one of the, the best times of my life. I really enjoyed the process of doing it. Uh, what the people don't know is we completely designed a product and then decided it had to be designed all over again because it wasn't of the right scale and size to do what we thought it should do. So we, we just X'd that out and we went on and did it again. We went to UL and there was no way to test it because they'd never tested that kind of product. So we had to work with them to create the testing criteria for it. Uh, the concepts in the space were created to have a dialogue with customers. So um, many of them were put into a specific room where we would have a little pre-dialogue with people. Our purpose really wasn't to create prototypes that we were going to go ahead with, but just to get a sense from the customers uh, what their feelings were on these new trends. So with that in mind, the concepts are quite provocative in the way they look. We didn't want them to be um, too familiar. We noticed that every time we created a concept that was very familiar looking, we would get some very pedestrian responses like, I don't like the finish or the color isn't right for me. Um, and we were hoping to have a much higher level dialogue than that. I think our industry has been relying on experience rather than relying on expertise. So what I mean by that is um, ex experience d isn't very predictive. Science strives to be predictive. I want to know if this set of circumstances occur, I want to be able to say this is what I know is going to happen. So that's why we combine you know, science with design uh, and have been doing that now for you know, 20 years, trying to link the two. I think there's power in both. We put together this thing called Mind Space, which um, was really a, a melding of the coming uh, electronic age where, where maybe paper goes away. I mean, this is the year 2000, um, so the promise of paperless really hadn't realized yet. Um, so we were suggesting that, that if you combine the physical world and the artifacts that we all use to remind ourselves of things and combine that with the electronic, that that would probably be the ideal rather than saying, well, everything will be digitized. So Mindspace is really a representation of that idea and how um, the workspace might be more of a reflection of how your brain worked.